This is criminal. Look at that backpack even looks phenomenal. Damn, he's looking good. On all your recommendations, we finally picked up the amazing Spider-Man CT, not Mafex. We do have an official... I just, I just broke something. We do have an official Mafex and we have an official Mafex bootleg. So we are gonna be doing a review and a lot of comparisons in today's video. And oh yeah, I got the Marvel Legends here too. Definitely stick around. Let's open this guy up. He looks great. Just from what I've seen online, these companies are doing a really good job at third party bootleg. Mine came smushed, but it's okay. You don't keep the box on these bootleg figures anyway. Now beware kids, when you buy bootleg stuff, most likely they are making it with the worst materials possible. So wash your hands, wash your figures because they literally say on the listings, cancer causing materials. So I'm killing myself for your entertainment guys. Make sure you're at least smashing that damn like button. Hey, yo. So we have a, we have a stand in here, which the stands usually are not good, but we will try it out. And we got some web effects. We have the web backpack. We have new feet, magnetic and non-magnetic, and a ton of hands and three heads. Ah, break everything. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wowie, wowie. Rest in peace, Bray. These do not look bootleg. These look official. I'm not... Holy crud. I am not even joking. These look so damn good. Remember, this figure is $17. The original, I was going to buy the original one for $200. $200, I was thinking about it because I had Macari credits. Speaking of Macari, stay till the end if you want to Ooh, know a little bit. Um, See how you could uh, get some. Ooh, hold on. I'll talk later. Let's look at this. Damn, he's looking good. Damn, he looks good, bro. Uh, he is a little rough, so you're going to want to maybe come in here. They have those little files. You just file down all the uh, plastic, flash, and um, all that excess. Wow, damn. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> wow, even neatly paint. Dude. Dude, we are living in the best time to toy collect. All the official toy companies raise their price and they're... Oh my god, dude. This is going to be a really annoying toy review because this is phenomenal. I'm judging it on how much it cost and the quality it feels like. And what... Oh my gosh, guys. Yes. Yes. Wow. Okay, so... Even, wow, hands change well. Okay, let's go fully into it. I'm sorry, I'm gushing hard. But, boy, I think I might have to pick up another one of these. This is insane. Joints are looking good. Let's go over the articulation, then we'll go into some other stuff. If I can get it out, because I can't shut the frick up. I'm gushing about this so bad. You know, sometimes if you buy bootlegs or a third party, sometimes it's squeaky and it feels like kind of fake. This is so smooth. He moves like butter. And he makes you want to pose him. And I'm just like, I am just like picturing the toy photography I want to do. And I am just so damn impressed. And I am very happy with this. Because uh, Black Suit Spider-Man is one of my favorite just designs. It's so sleek. It's so neat. It's so clean. And this is probably one of my favorite legends. And this is, is oh man. Okay, so let's go into it. And objectively, I'm going to pick it apart now. And see what's bad with it, what's good with it. So... It has the Mafex neck on it that has that bend in the joint so he could look up really well. He could look down really well. The arms pop out like really nicely and you could do, wow, look at this. You could do like the Raimi suit Spider-Man like poses where he's like emo and stuff. Damn, you could have him like, Gwen Stacy, I love you. Wow, I'm just telling you when you get this figure in hand, it it's poses so easy and smooth and it's like it really is i i can't i you have to hold it in your hand i really can't put it into words the articulation is great even the paint job is clean i have the official one i'll show you and the paint jobs aren't even clean on the official mafex does the squat perfectly the drop down legs double jointed legs uh feet are phenomenal Nice and tight, but not too tight. And...
Wow. I, I cannot believe, seriously, $17. This is better than anything you could get on the, the retail shelves right now. Now, let's pop some heads and see. Okay, so that head popped off very nice. Let's see. Usually, this is where it starts falling apart because uh, they're just sloppy. So, all right. See, I'm already getting some. So, the head doesn't pop in. Whoa, this one's even nicer. This one's actually cleaner than this one. Oh, my light just went off. Smash the button. Smash the like button for my light going off. Uh, this head is even cleaner. It's like, I would say this is actually a perfect head. I love head and this is perfect. This head is perfect. I love perfect head. Looks like he's gonna beat the crap out of you. He looks like he's gonna like make you cry like Bully Maguire over here. Damn, I gotta do some, uh, uh, this is making me wanna do toy photography, this guy. The toe joints right there, like look at this. Look at this guy, ah! Sheesh guys, everything just feels good quality. It's not cheap plastic. It, it really is crazy the what third party is getting away with if i was mafex right now i would be sending mafia yakuza i don't know the chinese mafia what what in rush hour what are the juntao i would send freaking juntao to the warehouse that are making these because this is criminal look at that backpack even looks phenomenal all right i'm i'm annoying myself that i'm just i'm glazing this figure this might be hard let's pop the neck out because we're going to put the unmasked head on okay not the easiest to pop out but all right that's yup okay finally i was like this can't be perfect hey, please like have something go wrong with this you might need to heat this one up it's a it, this is a harder plastic this is kind of a soft plastic i'm gonna try to stretch that a little bit let me see what do i have to stretch that all right let's try to stretch this hole a little bit Oh my gosh, guys, guys, just look at this, look at this, that is really well done. If you've seen what the unmasked heads uh, from the regular bootlegs look like, you would, you would like cry how bad they are. Th this is a bootleg, guys. I swear, if I was Mezco, uh, Mafex, I'd be so mad. Jun Tao and the boys would be over there, and their heads would be rolling. Heads would be rolling. Let's see. Do the hands swap? Uh, do the hands swap easy? Oh, man. Nice and tight, too. Damn. You're done. Mafex is done. If CT Toys just copies every Mafex, I'm on. I'm on board. I am on board. Look at this. Stop it. This is, I'm going to call the cops. I think I, I might actually call the cops because this is, oh my God. Now, the, let's see the magnetic feet. Foot, uh, the foot came off really easy. Let's see, does this new one come on? Damn, damn. They're like, oh, for a hundred. Come on, man. Yup. Looking good. It goes on there nice and tight. Sheesh, dude. Sheesh. Mafex. Mafex. What's what's Mafex's number, please? Can we cause I feel bad. We gotta we gotta call Mafex up and let them know. The figure's size is probably where it it'll lose a few people because he is pretty small and little. I mean, I would compare him to maybe a Figuarts, which we will. Um, he is much smaller than the Marvel Legends. And here he is. Let's see him with the official Mafex because they all use the same body mold. Here he is with the official Mafex. And that's where you're going to... Okay, so that's where Mafex is going to win. That is where Mafex is going to win because the Mafex is, is considerably taller uh, beget, again, because they use, you know, the molds and stuff. See, now he starts falling apart. Now he doesn't look so appealing when when uh, the Peter Parker is towering over him. And then here he is with a regular bootleg, which I've had this bootleg for a lot of years. And it's it's one of my favorite figures. It's pretty damn nice. Let's see. 
Yeah, see, even the real bootleg got the sizing right. I got such good bootlegs, man. This this figure was only like $15 when I bought it. For the size, yeah, like he's he's a little... It, you really can't tell right here, but I think it's the neck. The neck is really short. And his torso, like if you could maybe do some stuff and try to elongate him a little bit, but... Uh, if you're just posing him and playing with him and like doing toy photography and stuff, you're never going to know unless you're just putting him on the shelf, you know, standing straight up, which I wouldn't do. Okay, so my pose isn't TikTok worthy, but he does stay really, really nicely on the, the stand and it, you could even shake it. So even the stand is high quality, guys. What are we going to say? I have to say go for it. I mean, if you don't care about the scale... The really the only downside is that he's a, a little small. I wonder what his head would look like if I dremeled. Uh oh, I almost broke this figure. If I dremeled one of these heads out, oh, I might do that. I think I might dremel this head out and put it on that body. Yes, that's what I am doing because I like that head on that body anyway. I think I am going to dremel this head and put it on that body, and then I'll have uh, a very expressive black suit spider-man from marvel legends with a nice size head so uh check out my instagram because i will definitely post it on instagram when i do pop that head and uh, i love the details on that that's beautiful so all in all perfect and there you go guys we are out of here and i'll see you in the next video let me know are you going to pick up this figure is it worth it or should you just go buy the 200 dollars one I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, would you look at this? <laughs> I need everybody go check out my Macari shop. I sell stuff on eBay, on Macari. And if you're a watcher of the channel, always DM me. I give you guys the best. Don't even look at the prices on there. You let me know. I'll give you the best deal I can get. If you want to get $50 in free credit for both of us, we both get it. Use my code. Uh, down below is the link. Go over there. You guys signing up is how I buy a lot of these figures. Use my code. We both get up to $50 in credit. And then I go and buy like this, this figure. I bought this guy on there. I bought this guy on there. I bought this guy. You guys get the, You guys get it. So you guys help support the channel. You don't have to do anything other than sign up. And uh, we both get some stuff on there. So it's great. My Macari link is down below. It's better than eBay. You get a lot of good deals on there. The toy community is thriving. So go check it out. And please, if you're going to sign up, use my link. Or else we both don't get credit. And you're, it just stinks. That's, that's stinky.